Hi, Alex Kais here, artist and realtor. I'm sure you've heard of this house flipping thing, what with all the HGTV shows, and I was suckered into it, just like everybody else, what with all the hype. But now that I've been without a kitchen for six weeks, I'm starting to second guess some of my life decisions. Here's how my day usually goes. My coffee pot's balanced between cabinets, sitting on cardboard because I'm waiting for the countertop people to finish. It's hard to relax with power tools in the way and wooden plaster dust covering every surface. Breakfast every morning is a packaged bar. I spend too much money eating lunch out and it's rice and beans in the instant pot for dinner. This cycle has repeated itself for the past 44 days. I'm trying to finish assembling IKEA cabinets and finalizing electrical, but I still have work to do and clients to help. So now that I've purged my negative thoughts, let's talk about why anyone would put themselves through this grueling process. I'm not a professional flipper. It's debatable if I'm even a good amateur flipper, but Kendall and I bought a live and flip so that we could take advantage of low interest rates with a conventional mortgage instead of finding private money hard money, commercial money, there are so many sources of money for real estate investing. When you're doing a regular flip and you're not paying cash, you're going to have payments on your loan. These payments, along with a lot of other fixed costs, are called holding costs. The benefit of doing a live-in flip is that these are just your normal housing costs. You know, instead of paying for a separate loan, you're just paying for a mortgage. It's quite a bit lower risk than being on a time crunch and accounting for holding costs. The garage is probably our last major project once the kitchen's finished. I've been combating a leaky roof since we bought the place, so it needs a major overhaul. Now a professional flipper has to pay capital gains tax on all of their profit on the project. Since this is our primary residence, all we have to do is live here for two years, and then we can avoid all that. After all of the uh, renovation costs and everything else, I'm hoping that we walk away with about a 15 to 20% profit when we sell. We could hire out all the work, but I got an $18,000 quote on the flooring, so I did it myself for seven. Kendall's sleeping and I'm trying to be quiet. I'm up late because we just got our appliances delivered today, and I can't sleep because I can't help but keep opening the fridge. But I'm tired. Tomorrow I have to hold an open house, then come back home and get rid of all of this cardboard, and make sure the electrical in the kitchen is up to code. So, better get to it.